if ever there was an image to pretty much um, explain what that match was, it's this image. Frustration from Liverpool and for Man United. Keep your position. Keep your shape. Let's go for the dry. I said this in the pre-preview. That this is, don't think this is going to be an exciting game that Mourinho is going to go out for a draw that if he's playing against a top six side, a top side away from home domestically, he goes for the for the draw. If they can win, fair enough, they can win, but he always goes for, for the draw. For Liverpool, second half, they were the, the, the better team, most definitely. But this is the issue with Liverpool that they have. You don't have a striker. Because you look at what United's tactic was, was that we're going to sit down deep. We're not going to press. We're not going to give um, Liverpool the, the chance to go over the, the top. We're going to sit back, sit back, sit back deep. And then once it comes to an area, we then um, suffocate them. But the issue that Liverpool had is that you have a striker, Firmino, who doesn't really play as a target man striker. So the amount of times I saw Firmino out on, on the wing and crossing into Salah and Coutinho was ridiculous. Coutinho and Salah were both flipping amazing. They were absolutely incredible. The way they were opening up um, United, the way they were moving up and down. But if you don't see, if with the way that United were, were, were playing, it's in that it's so conservative, so defensive. You need a focal presence in the box who is tall, who is tough, who can hold the ball up and who can pretty much get at the end of a cross. So that once you know that you're going to get the position of the ball, you're going to get into the wing, 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 wing positions, you have somebody to cross the ball in so. But if you have Firmino who constantly is moving all around and is on the right wing, left wing, deep, and you're crossing the ball in and you're crossing to guys who are very small, i.e. Salah and I'm going to continue, you're not really going to get any cheddar. Um, so that was the issue that Liverpool were having is that, you know, it goes back to the summer. You have to have a squad in which you have different styles you can employ. Liverpool did it a style where they, they could have a tall striker inside the 18-yard box. And as for United, again, look, I was I was viewing it. You should have played Mkhitaryan out on on the left, put Martial next to Lukaku. You have two strikers, so once you get the ball, you have uh, you have um, much more of a better striking threat. I e. two strikers who can occupy Matip and Lovren because again, Matip and Lovren didn't have anything to to do. It was extremely easy for them. United only had one shot on target, one quick breakaway, and and that was it. So. For Mourinho, I get that you want to draw, but you could have, you could have, you've got, you could have got to the win. You could have got to the win if you had just readjusted your, your your team. I think this was, I think this was a game where Matt should have been brought in at halftime over Mkhitaryan because I think Matt they're missing a creative player because Mkhitaryan is creative but much more of an attacker. You should have, you should have had a guy who is a points man in number ten who can get the ball, head up, give a good, clever through ball to Lukaku, a, a through ball to Valencia, and so forth. That's not really Mkhitaryan's game, and Mkhitaryan wasn't really on his game in, the, in this match. Um, so all in all, for Liverpool, look, they did all they could, but they just, just didn't have the players. Again, you, you say to yourself that maybe maybe you you you, you start... I, I would have started storage over Firmino, personally. Because even if storage is not really the kind of striker you want, I would have started him over Firmino because at least he plays more of a striker in that 18 yard box more than Firmino, and that would have given Liverpool much more of a threat and somebody to cross the ball into. Um, but look, it is what it is. You, need, you know you know, you know what United way where we're going to do. They were going to go for a draw. They got what they wanted. Mourinho got what, 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 what he wanted. I mean, he may say, oh, he was frustrated. Secretly, he was like, look, we don't want to lose this game. Um, we would like to win the game, but a draw, I'm, I'm fine with a draw. Liverpool, they desperately wanted to, to, to win the game. Um, but again... It happened. I liked what Gomez was was doing in the game, but again, it goes back to you have to have a plan for for Liverpool. You have to have a plan B, plan C, plan D. You just they are they are too one dimensional in what they have, you know. And if you do not have a plan B or a plan C, you're not going to be able to break down a team like United, who will not give you space and who will sit down deep because you need a different approach to break them down. And for United, man. Is, is, is it too offensive to play Martial and, and Lukaku up front? Did you have to have Herrera and Matic for the whole game, really? I, I guess in this game did not um, require a Mimata. Look, it is what it is. It's my boy. I still love him.